So for a while there's been a lot of speculation. Where is LaMelo Ball going to play next year? Because he can't play in the NCAA after competing overseas beforehand and playing against professionals, he's technically not allowed to play in the NCAA. LaVar Ball has already come out and stated that he's either going to play in China or in the NBL, which is the National Basketball League in Australia, which is where I'm from. Now, in Australia and in the NBL, in the league, there's a team called the New Zealand Breakers. And obviously, New Zealand is not a part of Australia, but it's like the Toronto Raptors of the NBL. They're not a part of America, but they play in the NBA. New Zealand is not a part of Australia, but they play in the NBL. That's basically what it is. Anyway, there was a report that Carmelo Anthony was joining the New Zealand Breakers, and this is news that just came out recently. So there's been a lot of speculation that Melo has actually signed with the New Zealand Breakers, and to me, when I first heard about it, it didn't really make a lot of sense. I was like, why would this guy sign with the NBL? He just finished playing in the NBA. He didn't have the worst season of all time. Like, he still has some chance to join an NBA team next season. Why would he join the NBL? And then some more news came out, and I already knew that LaMelo Ball was going to sign either in China or the NBL in Australia, so I kind of had a hint, maybe this was LaMelo Ball. And then I talked to my friends and we were all discussing it, and this is where I've come to the conclusion. I believe, considering when you look at this website right here, the New Zealand Breakers and the NBL are due for a significant announcement within the next 48 hours. Now a YouTuber by the name of DKM already made a video on this topic, so I'll leave his video down below in the description below. But the reason I'm making this video is because I already know about the whole situation with LaMelo playing either in Australia or China, but I also know that I'll be able to go and watch LaMelo for a lot of these games considering I live in Australia and that he's presumed to be playing in Australia. So what are the benefits of LaMelo Ball playing in Australia? Well first of all, it's an English speaking country which China obviously isn't, and LaMelo will actually be able to understand his teammates, unlike in Lithuania. Secondly, there's quite a lot of NBL players who have come to the NBA and actually done okay. Paddy Mills actually came from the NBL, and he played for my hometown, the Melbourne Tigers, which are now known as the Melbourne United. He played in the NBL, and now he's one of the better players on the San Antonio Spurs. Obviously, he's won championships and been part of that team for ages. You've got guys like James Ennis, Torrey Craig, Andre Ingram, who obviously everybody knows Ingram from the Lakers, who's like 40 years old. So there's been a few guys that have come from the NBL, but one of the main guys I really want to talk about is Terrence Ferguson. And the reason why I want to talk about Terrence Ferguson is because what he did is kind of similar to what LaMelo Ball is about to do if he signs with the NBL. So Terrence Ferguson, obviously he plays for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He decided to bypass college, which is what LaMelo Ball is doing considering he's not allowed to play college, and instead played for the Adelaide 36ers in the NBL. He only averaged 4.6 points in 15 minutes per game, but he was still selected in the first round, 21st overall in the 2017 NBA Draft. So this should give LaVar and LaMelo some indication of where he could end up if he plays in the NBL and literally scores like 10 points per game. He really doesn't have to score many points per game because Terrence Ferguson the only reason he was drafted was because he had potential, he was a decent player even on limited minutes, and he was still selected in the first round. LaMelo Ball is definitely a better player than Terrence Ferguson in my opinion. He has the hype, he will definitely go in the first round, if not top 10, top 5 if he can perform in the NBL for one season only. Now obviously the NBL is not the NBA, but it has the same principle. Australia has always been known as a pretty tough team. When you watch us in the Olympics, we're always pretty physical. That's just the way we are. We have bigger bodies generally than a lot of the American guys, even though they're a lot taller normally. That's just like, if you go watch the Olympics, that's normally how it is. But LaMelo Ball, if he can fit into the NBL system, he will definitely fit into the NBA system because obviously the NBL has a lot more passing to open shots. It's a lot more physical. And for a guy like LaMelo Ball, who's really young and he's still developing into his body, if he can perform in the NBL, it will definitely give a lot of NBA scouts an insight into what LaMelo Ball could be in the NBA. Culturally, in my opinion, I'm obviously going to be very, very biased. Australia is a far better option in my opinion. I think one of the main things was he didn't enjoy his time in Lithuania because it was really cold. He had the language barrier. There was a lot of cultural differences. I've been to America. I've lived in Australia. 
It's not the same, obviously, but we're both English-speaking countries. We both love sport. We both love the NBA and basketball in general. It's going to be really, really good. And obviously, China is amazing. I've never been, but I know that the culture is amazing. But one of the things, if he's just there to play basketball, I will choose the NBL. Physicality is higher, but you're probably going to play better when you're speaking to guys who actually speak English. So the two biggest barriers to LaMelo Ball spending next year in the NBL, if he decides to play in the NBL, which I'm almost certain he's going to sign in the next 48 hours. Anyway, the two biggest barriers would be, number one, if he can prove himself, because there will be a little bit of a lack of playing time if he isn't playing well at the start. Australia seems to play guys less minutes. That's just what happens with Terence Ferguson. It's happened with a lot of guys. But even if you can perform on limited minutes, you will still get scouted. And the second thing is how physical it is. We already talked about that. But if he can prove himself in those two areas, his draft stock will rise quickly. Because unlike college, he will play against grown men. It's a different system. It's in a different country. But at the same time, basketball is basketball. And if he can perform, he will definitely have a high chance to get drafted. Now, what are my reasonings that he will actually play in the NBL and why am I so confident that he will play in this league? Well, number one, they've already stated that a guy named Melo, even though there is no reason why Carmelo would play, is about to sign with the New Zealand Breakers. So I'm pretty sure they just got the name wrong. The second thing is, LeVar Ball himself has already come out and said that he's going to play either in China or Australia next season. If you put two and two together, it kind of seems like it's pretty obvious, but at the same time, I don't have any proof. I may be wrong, but considering the New Zealand Breakers are expected to make a significant announcement, I think in my opinion, it's pretty obvious. With that said, let me know down below what you think about LaMelo Ball, most likely joining the New Zealand Breakers in the NBL League. Let me know if he should consider going to the G League or known as the D League now or what you think LaMelo Ball will do next season and if you think he'll get drafted. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm going to watch LaMelo Ball if he's playing in Australia. I'll do a ton of vlogs. I'll get you a lot of footage. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Follow me on Instagram. I'm out. Peace.